Hey guys, it's monthly favorites time! So, for the monthly favorites, I wanted to start out with books. Because in last video, I talked about Outlander by Diana Galbandon. Um, I was only about halfway through it and I was absolutely in love with that book. But, I was able to get further along in the book and I have to say, I hate it. I hated that book, I didn't finish it, it was weird, like it got super duper weird. Um, about halfway through the book, um, there was this Fifty Shades of Grey moment and then further along the book, there's some rape, so it's super, super like intense, crazy book. So I would have to say that I take that out of my favorites, it is not my favorite book anymore and I'm really sad that it got so strange in the end because I was really enjoying it for a long time. The next book that I want to talk about is Cuckoo's Calling. I've read this book a while ago, but I reread it again this month because J.K. Rowling just announced that she is going to be coming out with the next one in the in this um, series of uh, Cormoran Strike, the detective series. Um, the next one is going to be called The Silkworm, and uh, it's going to be, it's going to come out, I think June 24th is when it comes out, and I'm so excited about it. Uh, the next book I read this month was Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. I love this book. I've read this book probably five or six times. I just like rereading it sometimes. It just makes me feel warm inside and happy. I just really love that book. If you're looking for a book that, if you're like feeling kind of like meh and grumpy and just sad, if you read this book, it will definitely uplift your attitude. The final book that I read this month was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And I wanted to read it because um, they're coming out with a movie really soon and I want to see it. Um, this book is very well written and funny and it's just super, it's a super good book, but it is incredibly soul crushingly sad. So everybody knows that that book's going to be sad because the main character has cancer. It's it says it on the back of the book. But um it's just it's so good. You get so attached to the characters. And I just I really like it. I like the names of the characters. I just think that it's just a really good book. So if you're looking for a good funny book that you want to read that you know we'll be sad. It's only sad in the end though, honestly. It's only sad in the last few chapters. The rest of it's not that sad. It's actually quite uplifting because it makes you feel like if they can do it, I can do anything. So, uh, yeah, it's a really, really great book. I like that one a lot. Next up, I'm going to talk about skincare. I only have one skincare item this month and it is tea tree oil. I've never heard of tea tree oil before um, until recently. I learned about it through Tati. Um, and uh, I like it a lot. It's, you use it, you put a little tiny bit of it on a um, Q-tip and then you just apply it to wherever you have pimples and it helps them to, at least for me, it helps them to not come up fully. Like they kind of go away faster with this. So I like it a lot, obviously. Magic um, pimple remover, anyone's going to like it. So if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. I got this from... Um, a store called Rouse's, which is only in uh, Louisiana, so that doesn't really help you guys. But um, I'm sure you can find it in any grocery store in um, the like beauty area. Um, is, this is actually in the organic area. So if your grocery store has like an organic section, they'll probably have some tea tree oil. Next up, I want to talk about hair. Um, this month in hair, I got really super into um, trying to make sure that my ends stay really hydrated. I recently cut off um, about five inches of hair. Um, and I just, because it was all dead at the bottom, and I just, I struggle with keeping my ends nice and hydrated. So I um, picked up this Sally Hirschberger Hyper Hydration Super Keratin Spray. Big long name. But um, it works really well. I learned about this through Michelle Phan, and I really like it. It really does help. I actually prefer this than, to, than the um, It's a 10 leave-in keratin spray. Um, that stuff leaves my hair super greasy, and it just, I don't know, like I have it, and I, and I like how soft it is, but it just, I don't know, for me with my curly hair, it just doesn't, it just makes it clump really bad, and just doesn't look clean. It looks really greasy and gross. So I prefer this keratin spray to the, it's a 10. And then I also have this um, beauty protector 
um, leave-in conditioner. I got a sample of this in my birch box a while ago, and first of all, it smells like heaven. It smells like perfume. It smells so good. It smells so good. Um, and then it works really well too. Like the leave-in conditioner is really great. So like when I get out of the shower, first thing I do is I spray some of this on the ends, and then I spray some of this on the ends as well, and then I brush my hair. And I learned a while ago that if you start at the end of your hair, like if you brush here down first and then go the rest of the way, it helps with breakage a lot. Because if you're brushing from here down, you're taking all of those tangles and working them down to the ends and then breaking the ends. If you brush here first, especially after you've just sprayed these two, or just any sort of leave-in conditioner, if you brush the bottom first, then you're releasing all of those um, tangles, and then you brush here back, then once these tangles reach here, they're not connecting, or they're not getting bunched up with the rest of the tangles, and they're just adding this big mat down your hair. You're just brushing through. It just, for me at least, I don't know how it works for everybody, but for me it just really, like, helps me not to do breakage when my hair is wet because I do struggle with tangles when my hair is wet. Next up for beauty, I have two lip glosses. I know that that's kind of lame, but this month I just was really enjoying a lot of my older stuff. So I have these two lip glosses. This one came in a birch box. I talk a lot about birch box products, but I really like them. Or maybe it was Ipsy. I think this was Ipsy. I can never tell which box, which things came in which box. But this is a lip gloss from Pop. And it, I really like the packaging on it. I think it's really cute. And this part right here, this feels like really smooth. It just it's really good packaging. Um, and then it's just like a, a little like foam tip applicator. And I really like the color of it. The only thing I don't like about this product is it kind of smells like, I don't know. Not great. It doesn't smell like vanilla. Like most most lip glosses that I have are vanilla scented or some sort of like sweet scent. This one is just not scented. So that kind of stinks. But I really like the color and it's really pretty. Next up I have this Gold Mary Kay lip gloss. And I actually got this through my neighbor. My neighbor sells Mary Kay and I went to one of her parties. And I actually ordered a um, cream eyeshadow from her. And when she gave me my products, um, this was in there instead of the cream eyeshadow, um, which I actually am really happy about because I love, love, love this lip gloss. I think it's so good, and I just think I probably wouldn't have used the cream eyeshadow anyways, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. But it just looks like this. It is a little stringy when you pull it out. That's kind of a bummer, but the color is really, really, really pretty. The next thing I want to talk about is perfume. I saw... I don't remember what video it was I saw, but I saw a video a while ago that Whole Foods sells um, perfume, like essences, so like really concentrated perfume, and they're super cheap, and they smell, they're supposed to smell really, really good, and they're supposed to last you a while, and it's like a cheap alternative to buying like the big bottles of perfume. And we don't have a Whole Foods here where I live, but I drove out recently to Baton Rouge where they do have a Whole Foods, and I went and got picked and checked out their perfume section and I ended up picking up this one. It is by Pacifica and it is called um what is it called? California Star Jasmine. And I love it. It smells like I'm wearing it right now. Um it smells like straight up jasmine and like I don't know, there's there's another flower in there, like a very strong flower when you first put it on, but that kind of like melts away and then you're left with like this sweet, I don't know, it just smells like sweet flowers. If you like floral smells, this one is really, really, really pretty. I definitely recommend this one. And that's it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this and check back next month for March's favorites. Bye!